I, I talked about how portable and easy it is. So this is one of those systems where, you know, if you're just getting started and you have a couple of offices, I mean, this is essentially a small little suitcase, um, and you go from office to office with this thing. Uh, pretty easy to do. This is a six millimeter spot size, pretty good size spot size that I'm going to use. Um, there are energy modes, which are levels, and, and I tend to use energy mode three to four. Um, you can, it's got a rep rate, uh, you know, in terms of hertz. Uh, we can do a single pulse, so we can do it fast. And as I said, it's a 600 micron or 0.6 millisecond uh, pulse duration that comes out of the machines. David, um, I okay. think it's a nice thing for people to see how compact this device is. Yeah, right, can you see the box? I mean, this is it. Uh, this is the whole laser, the whole kit and caboodle. Um, so it's really, it's really small, and you know, this, uh, this is the, fi the firing piece of it. There are no consumables for this device. All right, so here we go. Is that hurting a lot? No. No. All right. So she says it doesn't hurt at all. Remember, this is type six uh, yeah, African type American six skin. skin. This is not something that's easy to treat, no matter what. So it's great to have a device that can that can treat acne in this. And skin so, as type. I said, this is going to impact on. You know, she's got a lot of inflammatory pustules. It's going to impact on the inflammation in the vessels. Uh, it'll have a phototoxic, photothermal effect uh, on pea acne, uh, and just improve her overall skin. And there's no, no cooling device in this at all, so pretty simple, small device. And I treat not just the area where there are lesions, but the whole face, because I'm trying to improve what she has, but I'm also trying to lessen uh, the onset of other lesions. And what I'll tend to do is go over the whole face a couple times, and then I'll go back and focus in on isolated spots. Excuse me? Is the trigger on the foot pedal? No, or it's a foot pedal. pedal. I have a foot pedal by my foot. Foot pedal. Yeah. And now I'm going to hit some isolated areas. And here's where I stack a little bit. And the funny part is, I don't know if you can see it, but there's almost a perception of a little bit of smoke. Those are actually little hairs that are getting singed. David, um, the question was about endpoints. What's the endpoint that you're looking at? Is um, it just you know, passes? The endpoint in darker skin, there isn't one because you can't really see the change. In lighter skin, I try to get a little bit of a flush, but in her situation, I'm just going to go over everything twice uh, and then go after individual lesions a couple times. And that's my endpoint. So, so, David, we talk about, I, I don't know if anybody's talked about pulse stacking. Pulse stacking in general is bad. Just remember that. In general, especially when you're talking about CO2 and things like that, it's bad. In certain aspects, we can use it for the benefit, and that's what David's doing here. Yeah. So well just put. understand it. And so I'm going to avoid her eyebrows because she might get hair removal there. I'll avoid her scalp. Don't worry. They're all still there. Okay. All right. And she has a little bit of a scar in her uh, left cheek. Uh, and we're going to build a little collagen below that, too. So it may help that as well. 